One of the stories we were following before all of this hunkering down was about an exhibit at the Contemporary Art Museum featuring work done in collaboration with Vashon High School students. Unfortunately, the museum's had to close down, and when it reopens, the exhibit will be gone. But before the closing, Ruth Ezel got to take a look. At first glance, you might think these Vashon High School students were learning to sew as part of a home economics course. But this is an art class where students are creating a quilt under the guidance of a teaching artist provided by the Contemporary Art Museum. For Delante Chapman, class of 2022, Vashon's partnership with Cam has broadened his perspective on what art is. I was very close-minded when it came to art. I would draw certain things and that would be the only thing I draw and you only use certain methods and certain materials. But working with Cam and some of the artists here and like learning how they work and the things they work with, it's opened my mind up and made me start to use different stuff. The partnership between the high school and the Contemporary Art Museum is called Art Reach. Every school quarter, Cam enlists a different artist to be in residence at Vashon plan a project, then teach Vashon art students how to make it a reality. At the time we visited the school in December of 2019, Esther Neff was the teaching artist overseeing the quilt project. I think a lot of these students already um, access a lot of art, and so I think sometimes it's just connecting the dots that what they're enjoying and experiencing is art. Um, for example, fashion, we talked a lot about like what makes something high art versus fashion or, you know, what's a quilt for your bed versus a quilt for hanging on a museum wall and how those lines are really blurry um, and how almost everything they see is designed by artists. Vashon had been without a consistent art program for almost five years before ArtReach was launched in the summer of 2017. The first Art Reach project was a modular installation exhibited at both the Contemporary Art Museum and in the atrium at Vachon. It was made of painted cardboard boxes that illustrated points of pride at the school. The installation was later deconstructed and the individual boxes put on permanent display throughout the school library. Art teacher Tim Jennings is on staff at Vashon and says having another educator in the room is good for his students. Kids have access to different personalities, somebody else. If I'm busy with one person, they can ask the artist in here. But I'll use the artist as the main teacher. We're always tying it back to like Instagram, album covers, you know, things they see on TV and to say actually art permeates pretty much everything that you do. You just didn't realize it. Um, but there, sort of the vocational aspect. Miriam Ruiz is the Art Museum's Manager of School and Community Programs. You know, when I was growing up, my parents didn't want me to be an artist. They were like, there's no money in it. Do you know how good you have to be to actually make it as an artist? This is opening it up and saying, hey, you're good at drawing. You don't have to be an artist. You could be a graphic designer. You could work for a museum and installation. You could, uh, you know, preserve uh, pieces in museums. You could just work in a museum in general and just kind of, you know, you could work in sales in a gallery or you could be a photographer. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can use your artistic talent and make money off of it. Six weeks after our visit to Vashon, an exhibit of the students' work opened here at CAM as part of the museum's 2020 spring exhibition. This iteration of Art Reach highlighted students' work for the first half of the 2019-2020 school year. These masks are multimedia works. Delante Chapman used cardboard, foil, and paper mache to create this mask, inspired by his favorite bird, the peacock. I went for a more kind of Mardi Gras feel because that's like a big, big, pretty big part of my family because we're from Louisiana and yeah, Mardi Gras is like something big we celebrate. Caps personalized with appliques, paint and markers were mounted on grids secured to walls in a second floor exhibit space and bookending those caps to quilts. Delante and his classmates each contributed a square designed from various textiles. This drawing of a mouse is part of Delante Square. Her name is Josie. He wove her into a planetary depiction of an asteroid that barely missed crashing into Earth. 
Josie is one of my original characters in like a little book series that I have. And I really like loved her design, so I put her in my art a lot. And I decided to apply her to this project. Delante also contributed to the previous Art Reach exhibit in 2019 called School Spirits. Students illustrated the history of classroom education through a sculptural installation made of discarded school furniture and supplies. Delante enjoys his instruction through CAM so much, he takes additional classes on Saturdays at the museum through a second program where he could potentially earn college credits. Although Delante's plans for the future include going to veterinary school, this Renaissance man in the making says art will always be a big part of his life. I would say if you're interested in art, please do it because it's a huge way to express yourself.